Hi, I'm Dr. Barry McCool from Texas Tech University. I'm part of a multidisciplinary research team that is working with the state of Texas to look at ways to reduce the risk of cancer in small West Texas communities. Today I'm going to be talking to you about oral cancer and the problems associated with the use of smokeless tobacco. <clears throat> The grant that we have is from the Cancer Prevention and Research Institute of Texas. It's called CEPRIT, and they are the organization that is funding us for this research. This is part one of a four-part presentation. What is smokeless tobacco? Smokeless tobacco is really tobacco that's not burned. It's made up of two different types, primarily chewing tobacco or leaf tobacco and uh, snuff or uh, dipping tobaccos. Smoke, does smokeless tobacco cause cancer? The answer to that question is a resounding yes. It, it causes three different types of cancer normally. Uh, oral cancer, which is cancer of the mouth, the jaw, the teeth, lips and gum, or esophageal cancer, which is the, the cancer spreads from your mouth down to the, your throat, your esophagus, and finally, the most deadly type of cancer, which is pancreatic cancer, which has about a 1% survivability rate. It's really not treatable. Is this the way you want to look? If you use these products, snuff and chewing tobacco, this is what your teeth are going to look like. Oral cancer kills. Smoking and other types of tobacco used in association with alcohol increases your chance of oral cancer by 75%. It affects the mucous membranes, membranes in your mouth, and it's really caused a lot by the use of uh, smoke, hot uh, heat uh, cigarettes and uh, cigars and pipes, and the use of oral tobacco products, dips and chewing. This is an example of some of the products out there that people are utilizing. This is all leaf tobacco. You also have this question. If you need to dip or chew, would you like to kiss her? And this is one of the problems associated with using these products. High school students and uh, college athletes, it is a problem associated with, I am under peer pressure, uh, professional athletes use these products, and uh, there's peer pressure for me to use these. Uh, parents, uh, relatives are using dip and chewing, and it's passed on down generation to generation. I'm a uh, official for the uh, South Plains uh, uh, High School football, and when I've gone to um, locker rooms to pick up the captains and take them out to the field, the last two years I've asked questions like, uh, how many of you all dip or chew? And it's been about 40 to 50 percent of them indicate that they have used these products. When I ask them if you uh, go out with your girlfriend and you stop in your vehicle and you spit it into your cup and then you go to kiss this young lady, what is her response to kissing you with all that on your lips and tongue and stuff? And the response I've gotten from these athletes are, it's okay, she dips too. So this problem is not just associated with men, but women are also using these products. <clears throat> If you go to the dentist and, or a doctor and the doctor says, uh, say ah and stick out your tongue, this is what the possibility is. This individual has uh, cancer of the tongue. It's going to probably spread to other points of his body. And more than likely, this is not curable at this particular stage. And he's probably going to lose a minimum part or all of his tongue. Uh, if you use this product, Skull Bandit or Skull, or any of the other uh, highly refined uh, tobacco products for dipping, uh, your dentist is going to love you. And this is what your teeth are going to look like. And this is from when you're using these products, it intensifies. Uh, you have them uh, it clumped up against your teeth, against your gums, and your tissues are constantly absorbing all this nicotine. And those of you that have smoked and uh, blown smoke through a, a white uh, t-shirt or something like that or wiped your mouth off and you get that yellow permanent stain on your t-shirt, think what it's doing to your white teeth. This is a reality check here. This is a high school senior that was at his senior prom 
Two years after graduation, he's lost the most of his lower jaw to cancer from chewing and dipping. He was an athlete, he ran track, he did uh, baseball, and he did a lot of dipping and chewing. Uh, five years later, this is what he looks like today. The cancer is spread throughout his uh, face. He's lost uh, uh, a lot of his jaw, his throat, his uh, been uh, totally consumed by the, the cancer and is spreading to the rest of his body. This is the problems that are associated with using these kind of products. We really are trying to emphasize to the young people, especially in these West Texas communities, that if you use these products, you're really putting your life at risk. Your body's your temple. Do you really want to be putting this stuff into your body? The consequences can be drastic. And it's not just restricted to high school or college students. What we're seeing is students that are in middle school, uh, fifth, fourth and fifth grade are starting to use these products because of the influence of aunts, uncles, parents, bigger brothers, and the fact that they see athletes on television chewing these tobaccos up at the batter's box at, and spitting the tobacco juice out before they hit a home run. They go to a little league and things like that. It's, I want to look cool. So please, from our aspect of it, don't use oral tobacco products. Stay away from dipping and chewing. Thank you.